Know what I hate? Getting all the way down the prototype path with my system design and finding out it's too hot. Bah! Then we have to work with our thermal analysis people and go back to the drawing board. Yeah, kind of like this one, way messier. Anyway, the problem is kind of a chicken or hard-boiled egg situation. You can't get good thermal analysis until you've locked down all of your electrical design. And you can't finalize your electrical design until you've got some thermal analysis. Ugh. Oh. Hi, I'm Amelia Dalton, host of Chalk Talk. Wouldn't it be awesome if we could do thermal analysis right along with our electrical analysis? Well, we can. <laughs> My guest today is C.T. Cow from Cadence Design Systems, and we're going to chat about electrical thermal co-simulation with Cadence's Celsius Thermal Solver, which can help us do our thermals as we go. And it's fast. <laughs> and before we get started, don't forget to click that link. There you can find even more information about Celsius Thermal Solver from Cadence Design Systems. Hi, CT. Thank you so much for joining me. Hi, Amelia. Very glad to join you here. Okay, so we are talking about Celsius Thermal Solver today. Now, I recorded a podcast about this technology previously, but for my audience who may not know, what is Celsius Thermal Solver all about? Celsius Thermal Solver is the second product we launched in 2019. It fits into our intelligent system design strategy of Cadence. This product aims at to provide our customer a complete electrical thermal co-simulation for electronic system designs, from chip package board to chassis enclosure to a system. And what's the innovative point here in this product is we include the transient and the traditional steady state analysis, meaning all those variables are changing with time or not. And also we have this uh, three-dimensional full assembly resolution of any objects there. Of course, we leverage our Cadence previous strengths in massively parallel execution, which has been included in our product voters and other tools. Then we can provide 10x faster runtime and the performance with virtually unlimited capacities. Lastly, we also integrated with Cadence current design platform for chip design or board design like Allegro or Virtuoso all those tools to provide a total solution for our customer in electrical thermal co-simulation. Great. So I heard Celsius Thermal Solver won product of the year. Is that correct? Yeah, Celsius is a product in 2019. And right after our launch, our Celsius in September, we won this product of the year in the electronic cooling magazine's endorsement. We're very excited about it, and that's a uh, confirmation and acceptance from the industry. We're really happy about that. Absolutely. Okay, now, CT, Celsius isn't just for IC design, right? Correct. IC, as you know, EDA design is traditionally focused on IC, yeah. the chips within the package. But our product like Allegro is focusing on package and PCB design. And as you know, thermal issues are everywhere in current advanced electronics, including your cell phone on your hand. So we aim at to provide a solution from IC to package the bore to the system. You can imagine the uh, physical dimension occupied uh, tens orders of magnitude from maybe nanometer to meter. And actually, that's a really great challenge in software of simulation to cover a wide range of size and also functionality. So we provide that. We are ambitious in that, I would say, but we're trying to provide a divide and conquer approach. Then our customer and user, you will understand and take advantage of it to solve their problem. Great. Okay. So CT, can you give me some details on exactly how Celsius Thermal Solver works? What's under the hood of this thing? Of course, my pleasure. As I mentioned before, it provides steady state and transient electrical thermal co-simulation. Why electrical thermal co-simulation? Because electrical and thermal interact with each other. Temperature will affect electrical resistance, and electrical resistance will introduce additional thermal source inside the system. So those two, you cannot separate it. Previously, maybe a uh, user can separate it, but nowadays the device and uh, components are getting smaller and smaller. You are consuming much, much, much powers. So those two things cannot be separated. 
and also transient and steady state are both important. Right now, the steady state, meaning equilibrium temperatures, no longer enough for the design. Everything's changing with time. You watch video, you listen to audio, you web browsing on your cell phone. So everything's changing with time. So transient analysis will be crucial in the design. Secondly, we include finite element analysis and CFD. CFD stands for computational fluid dynamics. That means the airflow or whatever flow surrounding or inside the system. When we talk about heat dissipation, the heat will dissipate to the environment. So finite element analysis and CFD are closely integrated into our tool. Thirdly, as I mentioned, we leverage this massively parallel matrix solver. It has been proven by industry that it has almost linear scalability and a no loss with the accuracy to provide 10x faster performance in many, many applications. Lastly, this tool has to work with, if not all, the most of the Cadence existing design platform because we want to supplement any thermal issues of concern of our customer whenever they are using Votus, Virtuoso, Allegro, or Innovus or other tools. Nowadays, as we know, thermal issue has been really critical in many, many aspects. So we want to provide an essential piece together with those tools for our customers. Excellent. So CT, can you tell me more about how Celsius fits into the overall Cadence ecosystem? We have roadmap and current project ongoing, integrating with Virtuoso, our prominent uh, design tools for IC design, and Allegro for package and board design. More importantly, we also have a close integration with Votus on our roadmap for Innovus on the current 3D IC analysis. The one key thing here is for thermal analysis, we need accurate power simulation on the chips. Traditionally, thermal CFD analysis, they took a very crude estimation of the power on the chips to do the whole system thermals airflow analysis. And nowadays, it's not enough. So by integrating with our Cadence tool, like Virtuoso, Allegro, or Botus, we can get accurate power map or power model on the chips from our chip tools, which is a real application in real scenario especially changing with time. Then we can take advantage with that, integrating with the package and board. So the whole analysis will be more realistic and fit to the designer's requirements. Excellent. Okay, so let's talk more about that 3D multi-physics part. And it's one of the most interesting parts of this to me. Tell me more about that. Yes, three-dimensional. We cannot uh, avoid three-dimensional nowadays because like 3D IC is a great example here. Previously, the chip design is a layer structure. You design layer metal going up. But now on the chips, you're basically building multiple high-rise there. So a tool has to be taking care of this three-dimensional trend because that's basically the Moore's law approaching to the end of life. Then we have to go to the 3D. Not to mention in a larger systems, like uh, showing on this page, you have multiple three-dimensional changing materials or uh, objects. You have to take care of all those effects, finite element temperature uh, simulation and also uh, fluid simulation. We also include thermal stress. That's the mechanical stress due to the temperature effect will fit our customer's need and serve their design requirement much better. Not to mention we provide superior speed and performance, virtually unlimited capacity as well. Okay, so this looks great in PowerPoint, but what kind of real numbers are we talking about, CT? This is just a two iconic example. We have a many, many others than that. On the left, you can see this is a true PCB board with multiple package on board object on that. The number element means we have to discretize or refine this whole object into, you can see, more than 100 million elements there. On the right is almost 100 million elements. Um, we do this, but usually with this amount of uh, element, it will take a really long time. But using Celsius Thermal Solver, we can use a massively parallel execution. That means we distributed the job into multiple CPU cores. So you can see the more CPU you're using, the faster the runtime. So it basically just leverage the number of horsepower. The CPU you can use, then you can shrink or reduce the runtime accordingly. 
One key thing is you don't lose the accuracy. You just separate and、uh, distribute the jobs, then you recombine them afterwards. So you increase your runtime. You don't lose your accuracy. Then you can imagine that by this way, we can solve chip package board design. A large example or large case like shown here, which cannot be effectively solved before. Cool. Okay. So CT, do you have any real world examples you can talk about? This is a 3D IC, like I mentioned. Basically, it's a die bonding face to face wafer bonding by a copper. So this project takes the power map or power model coming from the voltage. Then supply this power model into Celsius. When we take this power model, say how many watts discretize on the chips, certain regions really hot. Then we run the whole simulation, including package and board. Then the temperature information can feed back into the 3D IC to further do EMIR electro migration IR drop simulation to fit the chip designer's requirement. Notice that this 3D IC chips including through silicon via, so it's basically 3D IC design for nowadays or the future design for the industry. So CT, do you have any more success stories you can share? This slide showing a ongoing project we are doing. We can see it's a full laptop. So in the full laptop, traditionally you just solve the whole assembly by simplification. Inside this laptop, there are package, there are board, so many details. Traditional software, you cannot solve that the details like a trace via level. Also, the whole laptop, including airflow, I would say, is not possible. But for Celsius thermal solver, we can do the global thermal CFD airflow simulation like traditional software do. But we also can do detail like shown here. The PCB detailed design because Cadence own that PCB design. We have the design file, so we can take the global solutions as a boundary conditions and do the second stage simulation, diving into the detail of that package into a trace via level. Then we can identify the hot spot. It's kind of from a global approach, diving into a detail approach within one tool and one platform. Okay, cool. And the second one is we are working on is a traditional high power CPU. You can see you have、uh, advanced heat sink, you have a heat pipe, you have a detailed package and a PCB board. Then we run this project with a customer. They provide a power map like showing on the top right figure there. You can have a grid pattern of the die with a different power input. So that will be your heat source. Say here maybe 10 by 10 grid. Each grid, you can have a different power. Then we run, and heat generated within the chips will transfer through the package to the heat pipe, heat sink, and to the board to the cooling. So you can see we're solving from tiny details to the global macroscopic view within one tool. This is ongoing. We're more than happy to report more results. I think we'll have conference publication later this year. Excellent. This slide is showing a conference paper we published last year with TI. We have been working with TI for quite a few years, and this slide kind of summarizes、uh, we had just talked about. This is a true three-dimensional resolution from the chips to the bonding wire to the leaf frame package to the power to the PCB board. And TI doing measurement using IR camera. They run wind tunnel testing, and we got very good agreement between simulation and measurement. Our customers are very happy using our tool to accelerate their product to the market and to ensure their performance. Okay, so CT, what does Celsius Thermal Solver really buy me as an engineer? First of all, we provide a complete and unified solution. Meaning, as I mentioned, we have a finite element solution, we have a CFD solution, transient, steady state, electrical, thermal, cold simulation. All these things we combine into one canvas and one platform. Our user doesn't need to jump from one software to another. That usually happens for other、uh, software out there.、Yeah. If you want to do things, you have to change the things. We combine them together. It's really user friendly and to be easy to use for convenience. And also, we include all those critical physical variables like electrical, thermal, cold simulations, and we accelerate it using our massive parallel execution. And we can read the design data from our. Existing design tools, 
So right now we integrated with、uh, Otus, Virtual Soul, and Allegro. So our customer can utilize this tool for their hand design. No matter it's an advanced 3D IC, we have a project kickoff right now for the future 5G network or mobile devices or even advanced electronic units. Then we believe Celsius Thermo Solar is a essential piece to provide our customer for next generation electronic designs. Excellent. Well, CT, can you recap your main points for me? Yeah, this picture showing that the example I just showed you before is coming from our Allegro. I have a four PCB, very complex PCB connected with the Rigiflex soft connections, and this example show that you cannot solve it using traditional two-dimensional layer structure. It got to be three D. So we achieve this three D resolution. We can provide our customer up to 10x performance. Then we don't lose any accuracy. We remain that accuracy. Most importantly, we integrate it with Cadence tools, so current Cadence customers can utilize this tool together with what they have right now to solve their electrical thermal problems effectively. And also, we provide these tools on the cloud platform. This being several years, we're trying to provide our industry and the customer with a complete electrical thermal co-simulation solution from chip, package, board to the systems. So this will be our answer, and hopefully we could do even better with、uh, collaboration with our partners. Excellent. Well, I think that's all I have time for today. Thank you so much for joining me, CT. Thank you, Amelia. It's really my pleasure to be here. And before we go, you didn't forget to click that link, did you? There you can find even more information about Cadence Design Systems Celsius Thermal Solver. For Chalk Talks, I'm Amelia Dalton from eejournal.com. For more Chalk Talks, head on over to the Chalk Talks section of EE Journal. You can't miss it; it's right across the top. Or head on over to YouTube, youtube.com/eejournal.